Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yesterday guys, on this episode of John Sucks at Video Games. Well guys, <laughs> we're gonna do a little unboxing. We're gonna do a review, kind of like an impressions type thing of something that I've been meaning to upgrade for a while on my gaming PC and that's my mouse. Something that we kind of all overlook, I think. And you know, I, I've been rocking uh, this Steel Series MSI mouse. It, it came with my motherboard. And you know what? It's actually not a bad mouse, but it's very stripped down. It has no features at all. Um, and, and the size of it has actually been bothering me quite a bit. It's, it's just like too small, right? And, and my hand's always slipping off of it. And also, I, I, I kind of miss having the left-right click on the mouse wheel because I use that a lot actually on my Mac uh, when I'm using like Pro Tools and stuff to kind of scrub the timeline left and right. And, and with this mouse, you can't click left and right. So I've been looking to kind of upgrade this mouse. And again, this is a MSI Steel Series. Um, it's actually a Steel Series mouse uh, with MSI branding. It came with my motherboard uh, when I bought it at Newegg. Anyway, I decided to get this right here. Now this is the Mamba Tournament Edition by Razer. Now if you guys saw my previous videos, you saw we did a review of the Black Widow Chroma X, I believe is what I have, the keyboard. And this kind of goes with that. It has color changing LEDs and stuff and it's really slick. Now this is the Tournament Edition. There's also another Mamba, just a regular old Mamba that is wireless. This one is not wireless, which was not something I really felt like I needed, okay? Uh, this one has the same 600 DPI. It's very sensitive, supposedly. But the one thing it really has that I really wanted was the left-right click here. Not so much for gaming, more for like using Adobe apps and also Pro Tools. Anyway, let's kind of take a look here. It's the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. 16,000 DPI gaming mouse sensor. Ergonomic form factor, that's important. Uh, chroma, customizable lighting. So this will be able to co change colors uh, to match my keyboard, which is exciting. And again, this is the wired version. The Tournament Edition is wired, whereas the, the regular one is wireless. Now that was... You know, having it being wireless actually wasn't critical at all to me. Um, I've actually gotten pretty accustomed to the wired mouse uh, with my gaming PC, and the way I had the cable routed, it just doesn't interfere. And and plus, it, it's a, it's a lot more expensive to get the wireless version of this mouse. This this version right here is about ninety dollars, and then the wireless one I think is one fifty. And I don't think there's any late latency with the wireless version. I don't know, but of course, you're always guaranteed the best. Uh, you know, kind of one-to-one -one experience with the wired. Uh, now, the wiring actually is really nice. It's kind of like cloth covered here compared to the cheapo rubber. Now, I was kind of looking for something that was a little more substantial because my hand kept kind of falling off this too easy, and this mouse is definitely larger, which is good. So, like, if I were to just kind of compare kind of the feel... And by the way, this is not a bad mouse. It had a little click here. <laughs> I actually burnt it with my soldering iron. <laughs> but it has a little click here where you can change the DPI. I think it goes to 12,000 DPI is the highest. Like you can click here and go like 6,000 and then click again and it goes to 12,000. So you can kind of change the sensitivity. Like if you're zooming in to snipe and you want you want you you don't want it to be as jerky, you can kind of slow it down to like 6,000 DPI and it's a little more uh, precise, I guess, as you move it. But anyway, feel-wise, this definitely has a lot more heft. Yeah, I like it a lot already. I could tell. Like, this was just too small for me, this mouse. That feels good. It's got button buttons here. Click right here. Um, I'm sure, like, with web browsing, you could probably go forward and backwards on the web page. Um, it's got two buttons here. It's got a scroll wheel. And then you can see here the little left and right click, which was something that I really wanted. Because I, I have a, a Microsoft mouse I use with my Mac, and I, I'm just so accustomed to scrolling left and right in in uh, timelines when, when editing video and audio. Um, okay, so let's remove the plastic here. The mouse is pretty light though, I have to say. Um, even though this mouse is bigger than this mouse, this it's a light mouse. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's, it doesn't have as much uh, heft as I, I kind of thought it would. I really do like the braided cord though. It's just a nice touch, right? <laughs> so, so I guess we should probably just dive into it. Let's kind of see what else is in the box here. Um, some stickers for your case and then a manual kind of stuff here. 
safety and guidelines, blah, blah, blah. Now this should work with the Razer Synapse software, which I already have installed on my PC. So I tell you what, why don't we just go over to my PC? Okay, let, let's plug this in. Um, and then we'll launch the Razer Synapse software and we'll kind of see how it works in unison with my keyboard. And then I think we'll try a game. The, the one game that's really good to try with this because there's certain built-in games in Synapse and, and Overwatch is one of them. So we should try playing a game of Overwatch and just see how the mouse behaves and also how the keyboard behaves at the same time, which is kind of nice about getting all this Razer stuff because it all kind of works in unison here. And you can see I have the, the Razer uh, Chroma X keyboard right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and then we'll try it out. Okay, so it's all plugged in. I launched the Synapse software and right away it recognized it. And, and you can see that the mouse and the keyboard now are like synced color wise, okay? They're kind of, it, right now it's cycling through the colors. Uh, it's purple right now. You can see the mouse and the keyboard are both purple. It's kind of turning to pink right now. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> so, so this mouse totally, you know, is made to, to work with this keyboard here. So I tell you what we're gonna do right now. Um, why don't I launch Overwatch and, and actually I'll, we'll go through the settings in the Synapse and I'll show you what's going on. Okay guys, uh, so I have the uh, Razer Synapse software here now and you can see that we have keyboard settings, we have macros, uh, Chroma apps, stats, um, let's see. There's also down here, if you click that, you would see the, so the bottom here is the Mamba, Razer Mamba TE, and then right here is the, the Black Widow X Chroma settings. And then if you go here to lighting and you say apply to other Chroma enabled devices, so basically that will send whatever, you know, light settings you have for the keyboard, it'll send it to the mouse and, and, and other devices if you have them. Um, now you have spectral cycling, you have spectral cycling, you have breathing. So let's see what it, so now that's not actually synced here. Reactive. So now that's going to the other one. Oh, that's when you, when you do something, I got it. I don't like that as much. Here's starlight. So it's twinkling. The mouse is not doing anything right now. So it looks like you really want only a couple of these settings will send it over to everything else. Like wave. So now that, that the keyboard and mouse are doing the same thing at the same time. So I kind of like the spectrum cycling. Now if we go to the, uh, the mouse settings themselves, uh, the lighting for that so you can do reactive, static, wave. So the mouse actually effectively ends up having less lighting settings than the keyboard, which makes sense because the keyboard has individual LEDs on each of the keys, so you, you just get more stuff. Like Ripple, you couldn't do that with the mouse, right? Which makes complete sense. So I think we should pick something that will work with both. So let's go to lighting and then go to spectrum cycling and then let's apply that to both. And so now our mouse and our keyboard are kind of synced. And, and with that setting, it's just gonna kind of just cycle through these colors over and over again. All right, so why don't we do this? Why don't I launch Overwatch and let's see how the mouse behaves with the keyboard because Overwatch will kind of take over here and, and change all the settings on this and I, I'm curious what the mouse is going to do. And by the way, I have to tell you, this mouse feels fantastic. It, it truly does. Like, like it feels 10 times better than what I had before. And I, I did test it in Premiere. Actually, I can kind of show you guys that. Let me, let me open a Premiere session here and I'll kind of show you the left and right scrolling, which I really like. Okay, so... I have Premiere open here, and it's interesting because, um, like, I can scroll through the timeline now using the wheel up and down. What's funny about that, though, is that prior to me updating uh, the Synapse software, I was able to scroll left and right. <laughs> so, I don't know what to make of it. Bottom line is, though, I am manipulating the timeline right now with the mouse wheel. Um... And I'm actually thoroughly con confused by it because left and right is not working, but up and down is. But either way, I'm able to go through the timeline. 
weird. So, and then also I noticed that um, these two buttons right here uh, change the DPI. And actually, there's an on uh, on screen little display here that pops up, and it, it allows you to to go from sixteen thousand down to eighteen hundred DPI with this button with the little on screen display. That's pretty slick. So, all right, tell you what, let's load up Overwatch. Let's see how how everything reacts. Okay, so we have Overwatch loaded up here. And interestingly enough, my keyboard completely changed. It's now all yellow, and so is my mouse. So Overwatch has taken over here, and that's pretty slick, right? So let's go ahead and we'll go to play. And we'll just do a quick play here. Now when we pick a character though, this whole thing should change. And that's what's really slick. Especially if you're like me and you can't keep track of what button is what. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's see what happens here. So right now, uh, the mouse is yellow and the keyboard is yellow. And we're still searching for a game here. Come on, find a game. We should be getting into one any second here. It's pretty slick, though, really. The mouse, though, honest to God, it feels great. I, I really like it. And right now, it's glowing yellow. Boy, we can't find a game here. What's going on? Okay, so we got a game here, and everything is... Actually, the keyboard's changing now. Everything's green. So, like, if I pick Farah, it's all blue. If I pick Reaper, it turns red. Soldier, it's like this blue color, Sombra. So why don't we pick Farah, okay? And it turned the, 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 the mouse blue and the keyboard. Now, it should show all of her keys, and when her ultimate's ready, it should also, like, light up. It's, it's super slick. And so, th this stuff out of the box works with a handful of games. And then also, there's a bunch of community profiles that you can download. Um, I know that player unknown background. So now look at the keyboard. So W A A S D's lit up. H is kind of blinking here. I'll enjoy the it's on uh, shifts on a cooldown, but my mouse is blue. So let's see. Ah, uh, my favorite spider. I wonder what sort of web you're spinning now. So the mouse isn't really reacting to what the game is doing. It's really just a keyboard. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Which is expected though, right? Because the mouse has lighting really on the wheel and on the sides. And it's really just more decorative than functional. But God, this feels good. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> All right, we're about to start here. Really, the star of the show here at this game is the mouse. I mean, the keyboard. Here we go. I died. <laughs> All right, let's, let's change my hero. And that was lit up. So why don't we try, uh, I don't know. My team needs me. Oh, oh, so now oh, my keyboard is green, so the mouse is green, WASD is lit, and so is E. Stop. I don't think I've ever played as him before. So like my whole keyboard is like is pulsing for him. We cannot allow them to take the point. Is that because of his music? Oh, turn it up. The mouse does a solid green. I know, this is pretty cool. Definitely feels great, though. I like this mouse ten times better already than my old one, so... Alright, I think we're gonna stop this game. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be penalized. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so... Guys, uh... I do think that uh, this was a good purchase so far. 
I really like the way it feels. It's it's a definite big improvement to what I had before. Um, obviously, having the Razer keyboard with it and the Synapse software and all this stuff working together makes it that much more appealing for me. But I really do like the way it feels and the left-right thing. It's funny, though, in Premiere, though. It was scrolling, but up and down. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't get it. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I, I, I dig this mouse. I don't regret it at all. It's the Razer Mamba. This is the, the tournament edition, the wired version of the mouse. And uh, it feels great, and it works awesome with the Synapse software. And I'm looking forward to trying this with Player Unknown Battleground because that's where I was having trouble with the MSI mouse, that the Steel Series one that really made me want to get rid of it because I my hand just kept like falling off the mouse. And this one has a little more grippiness on the sides and stuff, so. Hopefully this will be more comfortable long term. So anyway, that's it guys for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Um, you know, here on John Sucks of Video Games, we do a lot of live streams. We do unboxings. We do kind of tech stuff. Uh, we did a whole gaming PC build. I have a whole series of that. We just installed a 1080 Ti. Um, so be sure to subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends. Also, check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at videogameoutsiders.com. We do that show on riotcast.com, uh, videogameoutsiders.com. Riotcast, of course, is a great comedy network. Uh, we have an app in the iOS store. We have an app in Google Play. Search for Video Game Outsiders. It's all free. Um, live show every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you very soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I'll see you again. Bye. Later. <laughs>